This is Jane with Green Side Up. Today we are going to be talking about bugs. Now, you know in your garden there's probably lots of bugs. There's the, well, the bad bugs, the ones you don't want. But today we're going to be talking about the good bugs, the ones you do want. We're going to start with ladybugs. Did you know that you can actually buy ladybugs in containers like this? We sell them here at the store. So these particular ladybugs are beneficial for your garden. Why? Besides the fact that they're, well, you know, cute. Did you know that ladybugs can eat up to 50 aphids, that's the bad bug, in a day? Each ladybug. They can eat other types of little tiny insects also, like thrips. Having ladybugs in your garden is beneficial because it is a natural way to get rid of the bad insects. So these particular ladybugs that we sell, you would release them in the evening and they would fly to wherever they were going to go. They'll find, they will find the bugs that they want to eat. Oh, and you're probably wondering why you release them in the evening versus in the morning. They are less active, so they're going to stay around a little better and, you know, get settled in. There's also a thing called a ladybug house, and you would mount this um, close to the ground, not on the ground, but close to the ground, and during the day or when in the heat of the day, the ladybugs would go into it, and they would have a place to rest, and you'll be able to keep them in your yard. Ladybugs are an excellent, excellent, natural predator that won't hurt your plants, but will eat the bad bugs. Another good insect that we carry are the praying mantids. Now, these are in their lone little case. They haven't hatched out yet. When they hatch out, they're gonna be very tiny. And then, of course, you probably have seen them when they grow. I mean, they can get really pretty big. When they're very tiny, they will eat some of the same things as those ladybugs, like your um, aphids, your thrips. As they get bigger, they can eat some of the other um, less beneficial insects, like caterpillars and sow bugs and earwigs and etc etc praying mantids are also a good beneficial insect to have in your garden and it is a natural way to keep the bad insects away another good pest to have i guess it isn't a pest if it's good anyway nematodes so nematodes are microscopic the box says that you would have several thousand on the very head of a pin, so they're very, very tiny. These, when released into the garden, can help to eat some of the, um, for instance, the larva of a Japanese beetle. And so it's going to be killing some of the bad pests in your garden. Now I have to have one little note on this. You can have too much of a good thing. So for instance, you don't necessarily want to put nematodes on your centipede grass because it can hurt the centipede grass. Anyway, nematodes in your garden bed are good. We carry a box that has them in it. We looked at the container. It's a pretty boring container, so I didn't show you that. I just showed you the box. If you have questions about nematodes or ladybugs or prairie mattids or any of the other good pests or bad pests that you can have in your yard, well, give us a call, or better yet, come on and visit us here at Greenside Up. We would love to help you with your questions. This is Jane wishing you a only good bugs in your garden day.